you are doing well. Welcome to my YouTube channel Leaf Classes. I am Anjali. Today we will be doing output statements in Java. These are the statements which are used to display the result on the console. In Java we have three output statements. System dot out dot print. The second is system dot out dot print ln and the third is system dot out dot print f print f these three output statements are used in java but since our channel is only focusing on 9th and 10th icse syllabus so we will be doing these two print and print ln statement print f i'll tell you in short but we are not going to go this for this statement in detail actually print statement is a function call to print or print ln functions of the object system dot out so that is why when we write any print statement how we write system dot out dot print or system dot out dot print ln now these functions take exactly one argument print functions takes only one argument of string type however the this string type can be achieved by concatenating more than one values using plus operator so let's do first print statement in this when you write any print statement using system dot out dot print and after this we write the string the message with within the double quote say i am writing one and the semicolon as you know is the terminator of any statement and one more line if i write system dot out dot print and two now the output of these two statements will be one and two in continuation like this so when we use print statement after displaying the result the cursor remains on the same line just after what it has displayed so in first line we have written o n e so when the output is generated on the console o n e is printed and after that the cursor will remain there and the next output will start from there only so the output of these two statements will be 1 2 in continuation now if we write the same message same text using print ln statement let's see what will happen o n e n 1 and then when you are writing system dot out dot print ln here you are writing 2 so when we use print ln print ln after displaying the result on the console it shifts the cursor to the next line or we can say it adds one line to the present value so the output of this will be 1 as soon as it displays 1 the cursor will be shifted to the beginning of the new line and the next output will be displayed on the next line now for print l print f it is used for formatted output say if i i am writing say float a equals to 2 3 4.5 6 7 8 
so output will be 234.56 so different uh, formatting is available but we are not going to go into detail of print f statement i hope these things are clear to you now we'll be doing in more detail print and print ln statements before moving forward let us see the difference between print ln and print statements this difference also is asked in the exams okay please check print ln statement it adds new line after the message gets displayed on the console so after displaying the message the cursor shifts to the beginning of the new line and here in print statement it does not add any new line the second difference it can work without arguments we can write only system dot out dot print ln opening and closing bracket nothing else no argument within that but the print statement does not work with argument it requires argument to work if you try to give print statement without any argument it will give you syntax error over there now let us do some examples of print and print ln the first example is here we have three statements all using print so system dot out dot print one within double quotes second is two third is three now what will be the output print the output will be one will be displayed and since it is print so the cursor will remain on the same line it will not move anywhere so after that the next output will be displayed there only it is 2 and again since it is with print the cursor will remain here and then the next output will be displayed that is 3 T H R E E any message which we give within double quotes is as it displayed as it is so please take care of the case if it is written in capital it will be displayed in capital if it is written in small it will be displayed in small the next is one but here it is using print ln so one is displayed and then the cursor will move to the beginning of next line so the next print statement is two so the next output will be on next line and since this also is with print state print ln so after printing 2 the out, the cursor will be shifted to the beginning of new line and then this result will be displayed so here the output is this next here is the combination of print and print ln so here print 1 first line whether it is print or print ln the output will be displayed on the first line only so there is no difference only if one line output is there so one and it is printed using print so the cursor will remain here and the next output will be displayed that is two and two is displayed using print ln so after displaying 2, the cursor will be shifted to the next line and then there this output will be displayed. I hope these things are clear to you. Now we will do some more examples of print and print ln. The next example is system dot out dot print ln 1 plus 1 plus 1. Here in both the statements I have used print ln. So the output of the first line will be 1, then it is plus 1 plus 1. In the beginning of today's class only I told you that the argument is always a string and different if more than one arguments are there we concatenate using plus sign. So this will not take part in any mathematical operation. So the output will be 1, 1. Like this it will be printed. Now since it is print ln, so after displaying this output, the cursor will be shifted to the new line. So the output of next line will be T, W, O. Then 2 plus 2. But here this 2 plus 2. 
2 is written within the bracket. So within the bracket, any calculation, any mathematical calculation will be performed plus and then it will be printed. Okay. So 2 plus 2 will be 4. So the output of this will be 4. The next example is system.out.println one backslash n2. So we start with here the output will be o n e after that backslash n is there. Backslash n is new line character. So this is a escape sequence backslash n backslash t. These all are escape sequence characters that we have done in tokens in Java. Please refer to that video for more uh, escape sequences. So one backslash n will take you to the next line. So here the next output will be on the next line. After printing 2, since it is print ln, so the cursor will be shifted to the beginning of new line and this 2 will be displayed here. Backslash t will give you the tab character. Tab character means like you have the tab key on the keyboard which gives tab space. So here also that tab space will be there and then the output will be 3. So the output of these two statements is 1, backslash n will take you to the next line, then 2 and backslash t will give you tab space in between and then 3. Now we move on to example number 6, int a equals to 5. Print ln 1 o n e is displayed plus a plus 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 a a plus plus minus minus all these are increment and decrement operators you can refer to operator and expression chapter for more details now a plus plus this is post increment so the first the value of a will be used here that is 5 5 will be printed and then after using 5, the value of A will become 6. And then here it is 1. So 1 is printed. Then since we are using this with print ln, so after printing this, the cursor will be shifted to the next line. So here the output will be TWO plus A plus plus. Now just check in the previous one. 5 is used and after using 5 the value of a is changed to 6. Now here it is pre-increment. First the value of a will be changed from 6 to 7 and then it will be used. So here it will be 7 and 2. Now again since it is with print ln so after displaying this output the cursor will be shifted to the beginning of new line. There it is T H R E E. Then within bracket it is plus plus A plus 3. Now what was the value of A here? 7 plus plus A will make it 8. 8 plus 3. First it will be added because it is in bracket. Then the output will be written as 11. So 3 T H R E E 1 1. So I hope all these examples are clear to you. Let us do one more example. System.out.print welcome. So the output will be welcome. The cursor will remain there because we have used print. Then again next line is using print 2. So the output will be here welcome to. Now next line is print ln. Right. So print ln can work with argument without argument. So if we have not specified any argument in print ln statement. This will shift the cursor to the beginning of new line. So after displaying 2. The cursor is coming, the program control is coming here and it is written print ln. So now the print cursor will be shifted to the beginning of new line 
and there the output will be printed leaf classes. So the output of these four statements will be welcome to in the same line. Then because of print ln the cursor is shifted to the beginning of new line and then the next output is displayed over there. Right? I hope the difference between print and print ln is clear to you now and hope you have understood the examples properly and you are now more confident to write the outputs if any output is asked using print and print statements like this. In case of any problem, any doubt, please do comment. Although I try my level best to uh, give the explanation of your doubts in the comment section, but sometimes it is not possible to explain in detail in the comment section or maybe some program is there. So not possible to explain everything clearly and maybe again also you may have some doubt. So I want uh, to make a separate video on all the doubts. So once I will have a good number of doubts in the comment section, I will take up all the doubts together and make a video on clearing all your doubts. Okay. If you are new to this channel, please do subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you get notifications for all the videos and no important topic is missed by you. Please share the videos with your class 9th and 10th ICSC friends so that they are also benefit and I also get little more satisfaction that I am helping children on my part. So keep practicing, keep studying, keep working hard. God bless you.